What's up, my YouTube family? All right. I'm going to show... Listen to that. That's the sound of a brand new Auric Orbiter. <laughs> if you go back to the video where I fixed that rattling noise, you too, if you have an Auric Orbiter that's rattling, can have your Auric Orbiter working like brand new. This is a big hallway. I've already pre-vacuumed everything, pre-spotted with my drill, and stay tuned for the end of the video, and I'll show you a secret weapon if you use the Auric Orbiter. There's a, a better way and an easier way to get really good results with the Auric Orbiter, so stay tuned. At the end of the video, we'll talk about it. But in the meantime, you can see I go, I've already done the living room and dining room. What I do with the Auric is I go acro across, horizontally, all the way down the hall. And I'm using a, uh, forget what they're called, uh, Gosh, NCAP store sells them. They're the microfiber uh, pads with a scrubbing strip. This is the 15 inch. They do shrink down a little bit, so they work perfect with for the 12 inch Auric Orbiter. I think they're called Galaxy Mop uh, pads. You can check that out. I always have a link in the description or a link in the description below. So anyway, what I'm doing here is I'm going horizontally all the way down, then I'll work my way back and I'll go vertically, forwards and backwards. So that way these scrubbing strips are getting maximum cleaning ability. And again, you gotta stay tuned to the end of the video. I'll reveal the secret combo. If you're using an Auric Orbiter and you wanna get the bigger 175 floor machine style or even steam cleaning results stay tuned you'll want to see it so in the meantime uh, enjoy a few minutes here of the wonderful sound of an auric orbiter repaired by yours truly you can find that video back in my uh, log here a few videos ago nobody else had a video that actually tells you how to fix the auric orbiter rattle now you have one so stay tuned.
beautiful results. And this is white carpet. Guys that clean carpets know when the carpets are white and they've just been cleaned, they're damp, so they're a little darker in most areas. They lighten up when it's fully dry. You can see I've got my two recliners tipped back. Already went through that section, and now we're going to do the stairs. I'm going to use the zinger pad. And if you get a zinger pad, I'd recommend maybe the 15-inch zinger pad if you're using the Auric. These things scrub the stairs, and they stay adhered to the Velcro driver. That's the one beautiful thing about these things. I don't know what it is, either the scrubbing strips or what. All right, little bonus to this video is the Wink Rust Stain Remover. This is available through Walmart. And it is made for uh, fabrics, carpet. I've used this stuff for years. They sell a smaller bottle, but I use it all the time. So it's worth, I think it's 10 bucks for 32 ounces, five bucks for 16. Watch it do its magic though. You never want to leave a rust spot behind. If you have the capability of cleaning it, probably cost me three pennies worth of solution. You see the rust stain there? I'll drop my cloth. The other thing is, you watch, it'll just completely disappear. And on a frise carpet like this, you want to move the fibers around because you want it to be able to penetrate all the sides that got the rust. Put a little more on there. It's an oxidizer, so you could walk away. But I'm going to blot it up, make sure everything's finished. Oh, there you go. Bada boom, bada bing. Rust remover, rust stain remover. It is an oxidizer. It is by the company called Wink. I think it's W-H-I-N-K. I'll try and zoom in here once I put the cap back on. And I'll show you that. I am cleaning some upholstery today, some dining room chairs. That'll be my next video. Yeah, W-H-I-N-K. This stuff is incredible. It takes rust out instantaneously. Even big, long, I've done four-foot rust stains from a bed frame. All right. And then, you know, the next step for me after I clean is to groom it with my triangle brush. Look at those triangles. Beautiful work, Polly. <laughs> All right, let's let you take a look at the finished job. And while you're looking at that, I just want to address, I've had three people call me or text me and want to do a ride along. The last guy today, about an hour ago, wanted to give me $1,000 for three days ride along. I don't do ride-alongs. My insurance company will cancel me. I can't have the liability inside someone's home or on my vehicle. I'm sorry. I love you guys that want to do that, but uh, you know there may be some people out there that are willing to do ride-alongs. You can always check with them, but in the meantime, stay tuned. You can learn everything from these videos if you just slowly watch them and copy it. Okay, what was the secret Angry Lemon, I'm telling you, you're not really supposed to use this stuff unless you have rat nasty restaurants. It's good for residential, but it's a encapsulant, so it dries down to a crystal. It will leave zero residue. It's a higher pH. If you're using an Auric Orbiter, there's the package. I'm telling you, you get you the Angry Lemon only because the Auric's not as aggressive as a regular full size 175. So you get you those Galaxy Mop microfiber pads, you get you some zingers, you get you some Angry Lemon. It goes a long way. And just use it on every job that you use the Auric on. That's what I've been doing. Go horizontally and then go vertically and you're going to love life. As always, thank you for watching another episode of Carpet Cleaning Guys Vlog. Look for the upholstery video coming up next.